What's going on guys, it's Drama. Welcome back to another episode of NBA Kicks, the show where we count down the 10 best sneakers in the NBA every single week of the season, except for a few weeks ago where we kind of skipped an episode, but that's okay because I added more sneakers on this episode. So we actually got 13 kicks to go over on this week's list. But before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed because yes, I did. I picked up the Zion ones from Jordan Brand and I actually got to hoop in them quite a bit. So a video review is coming very soon. I'll kind of be giving you guys my first impressions performance wise on them first. So make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss that video. This is a very interesting shoe at a very interesting price, but there are a couple of things about it that are very important to know before you end up pulling the trigger on them. So again, make sure you subscribe. Can't wait to get to that video, but first, we gotta get to the list. Starting off the list at number 13, we have Kevin Durant with a new colorway of the Nike KD14. Here we got Kevin Durant with this brand new KD14 silhouette in a new colorway that looks a lot like the China exclusive cyber colorway from the launch. However, the pair that KD is rocking seems to have flipped that colorway upside down for a more punchier and colorful look. It may not be the best colorway, but it's still a new one and the KD14 is still the newest signature sneaker on the market right now. So I decided to give KD the edge here and put him on this week's list. Next up at number 12, we have Jermichael Green with a custom pair of Air Jordan 13s. Nugget swingman Jermichael Green rocks a very unique pair of Hyper Royal Jordan 13s, which have Smurfs along the upper as well as some added hits of red to complement the artwork and the overall theme. I don't think we've ever seen a Smurfs inspired custom on an NBA floor before, so this is a first, which is why you're seeing them make the list. However, how many people are actually into Smurfs? I mean, like into them enough to have them on your sneakers. I know I'm not, but apparently Jermichael Green is. Next up at number 11, we have Kawhi Leonard with a new colorway of the Kawhi from New Balance. Using an array of colors from silver, teal, blue, and even yellow, the standout feature here has got to be the metallic red overlays throughout, which really remind me of Christmas wrapping paper or even maybe a red Christmas ornament. Either way, it's a solid colorway, even though it may just be a little too colorful for Kawhi's stoic personality. Just kidding, Kawhi's a fun guy. Next up at number 10, we have Tyrese Halliburton with a new custom of the Nike PG-1. Now Tyrese Halliburton started the season off strong with custom colorway after custom colorway after custom colorway. But in the recent months, much like the Kings themselves, he's kind of started to cool off, but that's okay because he's back on the list with a custom colorway of Paul George's debut signature sneaker. This custom, which was done by Andre WTL on Instagram, is clearly inspired by the late Nipsey Hussle and uses an all blue color scheme, which is accented with a beautiful white to blue gradient midsole, as well as a Crenshaw script on the upper, right next to the spot on portrait of Nipsey Hussle. Andre WTL has been one of the best shoe customizers in the game for a while now, and with this pair of PG-1, he just adds another one to his already impressive portfolio. And as for Tyrese, hopefully this pair puts him back on track as we always love seeing what he has to rock on the court. Coming in at number 9, we have Jason Tatum with a new PE of the Air Jordan 35. So I've said it on the show before, but I'll say it again. Jason Tatum, he's kind of a weird guy. I mean, his player exclusive colorways are always kind of inspired by stuff that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, at least to me. And this week, his latest PE of the Jordan 35 is inspired by his love of denim. Now, personally, I don't really know anyone that loves denim this much, but apparently Jason Tatum does. And this latest PE uses an all denim upper alongside some red and brown hits, which completes the overall theme. But again, why? Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a solid pair of kicks. I think they came out relatively clean, but when you could have your sneaker inspired by anything in the world, why denim? Next up at number eight, we have Carmelo Anthony with another PE of the Air Jordan 35. 
Jordan Brand continues to hook up their athletes with exclusive colorways all season long, just like the one Carmelo rocked against the Clippers, which is inspired by his championship run when he was at Syracuse and is named the night before PE for reasons that we'll probably never truly understand. What happens in the night before usually tends to stay in the night before, but nonetheless, the personal connection is there and it's a unique pair of kicks to say the least, which is more than enough to earn a spot on this week's list. So here they are at number eight. Next up at number seven, we have Kyrie Irving with a new colorway of the Nike Kyrie 7. Kyrie rocks his latest collaboration with Concepts, the Oris Kyrie 7s, which are inspired by Kyrie's interest in ancient Egyptian mythology and was created by both Irving and his sister Asia. Now in Egyptian mythology, Oris was a god in the form of a falcon, which you've probably seen before, whose right eye was the sun, which represented power, while his left eye was the moon, which represented healing. As for the kicks, this colorway uses a very vibrant color scheme with shades of teal orange as well as metallic gold alongside some ancient Egyptian symbols, which all come together to create a solid package for what is one of the better Kyrie 7 colorways of the season that I'm sure fans of his signature line will absolutely love to add to their collection. Next up at number 6, we have Paul Millsap with a new colorway of the Nike Zoom Kobe 6. So the news of Nike and Kobe splitting up has been a pretty tough pill to swallow. And according to Vanessa, there's only two more Kobe 6 Pro Show releases coming at us. However, Nike is still supplying their athletes with player exclusive colorways, as we see here with Paul Millsap. Now, Anthony Davis also rocked a new PE of the Kobe 6 as well. And while those are pretty cool, it's just a standard Lakers purple and gold colorway. Whereas Millsap offers something a little bit different that we haven't quite seen on the silhouette before with a Nuggets inspired color scheme which came out really, really clean. To me, this isn't really much of a sneaker battle because the choice is clear. I much rather have Millsap's pair over Anthony Davis's. But if you want me to call this a sneaker battle, then suit yourself. Let me know which of these two colorways you like better in the comment section below. And if you really want to make it official, here's the sneaker battle stinger. Next up at number five, we have Alex Caruso with a brand new Anta sneaker. So yes, Alex Caruso is sponsored by Anta. And while that may come as a surprise to you, the thing you have to understand is you're absolutely correct. There's a lot more guys in the league right now that are a lot more deserving of a shoe deal than Alex Caruso. Nonetheless, Caruso is seen here in some Anta silhouette, which I'm not really too sure exactly what they are. But what I do know is that they're a really unique pair of kicks and they come in this black and tan colorway which we never see on the court and I personally really love the loud pattern and design elements that the silhouette has to offer and out of all the sneakers that I saw this week these were definitely one of the most unique ones and that's why you're seeing them at number four. Next up at number four we have LeBron James with a new colorway of the LeBron 18 Low. Now I know LeBron didn't actually play in this new colorway of the LeBron 18 low, but I mean, look at these guys. These are so nice, I just had to put them on the list. These are a collaboration between Nike and Japanese shoe retailer Atomos, and they're called the Sakura colorway and uses a beautiful pink, off-white, and blue color scheme with some interesting patterns on the upper, but the star feature here has got to be that floral swoosh, which looks absolutely insane. Now, LeBron sneakers aren't really known for being great off-court options, especially recently. They've been a lot more performance-driven, but these are totally something that I'd rock off the court myself. So, you know what? Let's actually see how much these are going for on StockX right now. Oh, 200 bucks? Not bad. Did I cop? Next up at number three, we have PJ Tucker with the Nike Hyper Dunk 2010. Holy shit, guys, the Sneaker King did it again with another ultra rare pair of kicks, except these right here, these are like rare, rare. These are the McFly Hyperdunk 2010s, and they're actually a sample colorway, which means that they never were released. So how PJ got his hands on a pair in his size, 
I don't really know, but the McFly colorway has always been a fan favorite with a beautiful gray, white, pink, and light blue color scheme. But this pair also has some special insoles with the left one emulating a classic hoverboard design while the right one has Nike's take on the sports almanac from the movie and features superstars such as Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and even Brandon Roy. At the end of the day, PJ Tucker really shows off his prowess here with a really rare pair of kicks. However, it's not the rarest pair of kicks he wore from last week. Coming in as our runner up, we have PJ Tucker again with an ultra, ultra rare pair of Air Jordan 5. All right, so usually I only count sneakers that guys actually wear on the court. However, this pair of kicks that PJ rocked during his walk-in is so rare that it actually got a reaction from a fellow player. During the walk-in, PJ rocked the PRFC Air Jordan 5 PE, which was exclusively made for the NASL soccer team in Puerto Rico and were listed on Flight Club for $9,000. Now, it's one thing to rock a pair of kicks and have people like us who love sneakers kind of gush all over them, but when you can make Carmelo Anthony, a Jordan brand sponsored athlete who gets free Jordans all the time, question where you got your pair of Jordans, I mean, that's the ultimate boss move. I mean, he made a Jordan brand athlete jealous of his Jordan. So I really have no option but to put these on this week's list. PJ Tucker is the undisputed king of sneakers. And honestly, guys, it's not even close. Finally, at number one, we have Damian Lillard with the Adidas Dame 7, Dame Gnosis. Now, the Shaq Gnosis is one of the most iconic sneakers of the 90s. Not only was it a Reebok sneaker, which Reebok was king back then, but it also made appearances in very popular pop culture moments, such as on the feet of Will Smith in the Men in Black movie. As you can see, the Dame Gnosis Dame 7s use the same black and white color scheme with a similar hypnotic pattern on the upper, but surprisingly also has both Adidas and Reebok logos on the lateral heel. Now, the inspiration behind this colorway is Dame paying homage to Shaq, who was in his own words, the first NBA player to do it big in music, since both Dame and Shaq have been known to rock the mic, and now they're both known for their hypnotic sneakers as well, and that's a pretty cool connection. And that's why you're seeing them at number one as the best sneaker worn in the league during week 16 and 17 of the 2021 NBA season. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of NBA Kicks. I mean, I really hope you did because I am sweating my you-know-what off right now. It is so hot in the studio, so please give me a thumbs up to help me cool off. It would really mean a lot. And subscribe to the channel for more sneaker-related content just like this. My name is Darren. It's Great having you. Catch you guys in next week's episode. Peace!